Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the DGRO trading platform and how to buy options on DGRO and as well as stocks as well. So let's get into this video. So let's say uh, here we got all the Dutch stocks and you want to see all the Dutch stocks. Uh, a big company in the AEX is Royal Dutch Shell. You can see your position right over here. That's my position. And um, here if you click on Opsies, uh, it's, in, it's in Dutch but Opsies basically means it's in um, uh, options in Dutch basically. So right now it's pretty much lagged out because it is the weekend. But let's see if we can get like a proper date. It is pretty much lagged out, I'm sorry for that. But okay, let's go to the February date for Royal Dutch Show. And actually let's take a leap, let's go take a leap. So Royal Dutch Show is currently trading at 16, 16 euros and 41 cents. So let's say we were to buy the 16 call for December 23rd, that's like three years away, or no, two years away. And your premium is three euros and 15 cents. So essentially you're gonna be paying 315 euros. And what you're betting on, on is your, like your break even is gonna be 16 plus three euros and 15 cents. So 1950, 1915. So essentially your roll does show has to go up around 10 to 15% in the next two years for you just to break even. Anywhere above that, you're gonna be making a profit. So how do you exactly buy this? Well, you click on the call option and it went down 15% on that day. But when you click on cope, the normally you have to put a limit order. I don't think they allow you to put a market order. At least I always put a limit order. So it tells you it's tra it currently cost two euros and 50 cents. So what you'd have to do is, right now the market is closed, but you would have to type in two euros and 50 cents, or you have to put a dot actually. And then you wanna do how many do you wanna buy? So if you wanna buy one of these, it's gonna cost you 250 euros. But if you wanna buy 10, you're gonna pay 2,500 euros. So it tells you the amount you're gonna pay. And then you do Platt's order, and then the order will go away, go get sent. The same would work for, for Cope, but that means you're actually, bearish on the stock and you think the stock will trade under 16 euros and you're going to be receiving 2,500 2, euros and you can do whatever you want from that. Obviously it's going to take an effect on your margin and everything and that's one thing I don't really like about DGRO. If you think about other platforms in America like Tastyworks which I also use or maybe Interactive Brokers or uh, Thinkorswim, they all give you like and the specific margin and they tell you how much is your loss and what, what, what you can lose. But DGRO doesn't tell all those things. It expects you to be a professional, it expects you to know everything. And also one thing I really hate about the options is you can't buy two options at once. I mean like, let's say you wanna buy a spread on the show, uh, a debit spread or a credit spread. Uh, in this case, it would be a credit spread. You wanted to collect money. Well, it's not gonna work as nicely and the commission is gonna take a hit because you're gonna be buying it twice. I believe it's 85 cents per contract, but still, if you wanna buy a spread, there should be hopefully an option, but they don't have an option to buy a spread. Or like an iron condor where you wanna take four contracts and that's 80 cents each, but they don't let you buy that. Okay, now let's say you wanna be buying uh, a German stock, which is not in the Netherlands. Well, that's gonna cost you four euros in commission. So I own some buyer stock, it's a pharmaceutical company in Germany. You can also buy the option, you see you click on the options, but if you wanna buy a stock, you click on COPE, and COPE means buy in Dutch, and you basically have to put a market order that's allowed for stock, and it'll go in the market price on the Monday morning. Right now it's a Sunday, so it's not gonna go through, but you can also put a limit order, let's say you wanna catch it at 49. So you put 49, you wanna buy 1,000 stocks, or 100 stocks, then it's gonna confirm at 49, but you have to wait till it comes to 49. So that's how you buy stock. And the commission for German stocks, I believe, is four euros, so it's pretty high. So the best thing I like about DGRO is, let's say, and it's an American stock, right? It's an American stock, so let's say something like an Apple. Apple's pretty big, AAPL. And if you look at Apple, Apple, if you wanted to buy a stock, it would just cost you 50 cents. And that's pretty nice, costing 50 cents for buying uh, American stock, but do mind that they will take an FX rate. So you're gonna be paying in dollars. And since you're in euros right now, it's gonna have a currency change. So that's how that would work. Uh, another thing I really like about DGRO is the fact that you get uh, some nice news in the bottom. And as you know that Apple and Hyundai are set to tie up to produce electric cars. So you get all these information right over here. You don't have to go to the internet or anything. 
and you get some ratios and some of the financial uh, statements. So how much revenue they were making per year. This was around 280 million and the analyst ratings from people. So they say it's still a buy. Apple's a buy. Apple's I, I'm probably I'm pretty bullish on Apple. I don't own any Apple stock right now, but I used to and um, I might uh, get in a position soon. So I hope this guy, this video helped you guys on how to buy an option or stocks. If you guys want to make more stuff, or sorry, if you guys have any questions for me, please let me know down below in the comment section. And make sure to like the video for the algorithm and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.